I forgot my passport. So that happened in Orlando. We have a friend driving it down, an amazing person. He's one of the most incredible people on the planet. But it's a little bit of a delay for our start of this great cruise, but we'll get there shortly. Fun circumstances here. Here's all the people getting on the ship. We are not getting on the ship because I forgot my passport. Where's your passport, Sam? Um, it's in Orlando. And where are we, Sam? Fort Lauderdale. How far away is that from Orlando, Sam? Just a little bit. So normally I'm a really good planner and very organized and everything else was very well planned and organized and then I overlooked one thing and it just happens to be a pretty major thing. Um, fortunately, uh, like I said, we have an amazing, amazing friend who's bringing me my passport. So not all is lost except Jose's confidence in my planning skills for now. We did it. Oral made it. Hi, everybody. Most amazing person in the world right here, Oral. Yes, you. All right, so we've made it aboard the Independence of the Seas. Uh, we've... Yay! Jose's stress level has dropped now. And a beverage of some kind. Yeah, With he... a lot of alcohol. He needs a beverage, Dad. I, um... Push my stress limits today, Sam? Yeah, our cortisol levels are probably really high. <laughs> Um, but we made it. Oral saved the day. So this cruise is brought to you by Oral. Um, Thank you, Oral. Thank you. <laughs> Literally brought to you by Oral. We would not be on this ship right now if it wasn't for him. So on we go. We're going to go check out our room and then we'll get settled in. And I'm getting winded because I'm going up a lot of stairs on a big cruise ship. <sighs> One more deck. Una mas. Welcome aboard. Ooh. Interior room. Again, pretty much what we expected. We always book interior rooms just because we're not going to be in the room very often. Uh, we enjoy our cruises. We like to walk around and enjoy the ship. That's what we're paying for, so we're going to do it. I like this. It's cozy. We've got a curtain we can close off so we don't have to see the light from under the floor. Ah. There's your shower, babe. I love that shower. There's my favorite thing in the world. Nice closet space. Technically a walk-in closet. Key. So that's what we got. Let's go explore. vintages on the Royal Promenade. We made it through the safety drill. We are waiting for dinner and we're awaiting this amazing parade to celebrate our voyage. I'm just happy that we're relaxing now with a glass of wine in our hands. After this parade we're gonna have some dinner so looking forward to that as I love every single item that they serve here uh, and it's really easy to order two entrees, maybe three, three desserts, you know. We're just uh, gonna enjoy it. And Jose loves eating, so eat away. I don't show it, but I do. We've got a comedy show later we're going show. to tonight. So that should be interesting. And then uh, other than that, we're gonna cruise around the ship and try and find some fun things to do. Probably have a couple of drinks, uh, drink responsibly. You don't have to in a cruise ship though. You're not driving. No, but it's still smart, because oh, wait, eat. tomorrow's a sea day. <gasps>
So I think we're going to the forward of the ship to get some really cool pictures because the skyline of Fort Lauderdale. What? I think it's Miami. Oh, maybe it is Miami. I don't know. I'm not from down here. I'm in Central Florida. <laughs> but anyways, whatever it is, the point of Florida, we'll just call it that for now. It's illuminating everything really pretty and the clouds are really pretty. Yeah. So we are heading down to deck four so we can head up to deck five on the forward of the ship. But this is the life of being with a photographer. When he sees a great shot, you just gotta go and capture it. Gotta go. necessarily always capture the images of what you're experiencing or living through and so it's important to get out and just enjoy life like rain and so that's why we get out and enjoy life because you can't always capture it and yeah there's beautiful photos out there and 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 there's great artists and photographers and stuff that are able to capture these moments and you get really great equipment now you know technology has come so far but there comes to a point where sometimes you see amazing things in life and you can't capture them with anything that we currently have, te technology-wise. You can get close, but the real view is not like the experience. And I think this is a very good example of that type of situation, because this skyline view with the, the city lights reflected off the clouds and the ocean and everything, it's just a very beautiful view. And it's large and it's cinematic and you can't capture it. He, even if he is able to capture a great shot, it still won't be as impactful as the view that we currently have. I think that is it for now. Because one, we're really far away from the mainland and we're rocking. That was my shot. And we think about it. Went away. We'll see what we get when we blow it up. It went away. Okay. Can we just talk about how beautiful it is out here on deck four? There's no one out here. Beautiful weather. It's not too windy. I mean, it's windy for photos. It's windy in the other. But it's not windy uncomfortable. So we're gonna go explore more of the ship, maybe enjoy another drink and a little. Is there a cocoa mango daiquiri? He won't show me. Is there a cocoa mango daiquiri? Did it, cocoa mango daiquiri. got up at a decent time so we already had breakfast we're gonna explore the ship some more maybe get a drink because yes we got the drink package so we're gonna get our money's worth um, and enjoy our day we have some plans later today we're gonna do the observatorium which is the escape room on board we booked that prior to getting on the ship so that we made sure we do it uh, just because we love our escape rooms yep yeah and then later tonight we've got Grease the Musical and uh, some other good stuff so we'll we'll see what we do today and you can join us on our adventures. Why are you yawning? Are you yawning? Yes.
opposite that great view of the Royal Promenade, we have this great little seating area built for two. And that woman. <laughs> Today's been a really good morning. Uh, we're just kind of relaxing and enjoying the ship. Uh, as this is a vacation, we do need a little bit of a getaway and relaxation time. We do have full-time jobs that are very busy. <laughs> this is actually super nice. It's quite nice. We did go up and we checked out the rock wall. We didn't climb on it today. Uh, like I said, we're just going to relax today. We've got some fun stuff planned this afternoon and evening. So hopefully we can hit that up on the last day, uh, or last sea day, uh, last day of the voyage. But for now, it's just relaxation and exploring and enjoying each other's company. So I'm currently going up the stairs because Sam wants a picture of him with the red dog. So I'm gonna go across the way and get a photo of him on the other side. <laughs> the schooner bar. We're gonna get some libations and then go sit on the back of the ship. Hey, Jose. Hey, I just saw one of those flying fish. A flying fish? Yeah. That's cool. See that? Yeah. Cuba over there in the horizon. <laughs> it's kind of calmed down midday. We've got some really great shimmer on the water. We've got Cuba off off to the side there, some really beautiful mountains. some exploring we're gonna go ahead and go back to our room change maybe are we changing, we're not, changing. Not, yet, not yet not yet uh Just dropping some stuff off drop some stuff up and then we're gonna do the observatorium as you say what it's called the oh. escape room the escape room on board the independence of the seas i'm excited i'm I really excited am. for this uh, we won't be able to film inside the escape room as is normal with escape rooms just because they don't want you to be able to release the video of all the secrets of their escape room. So with that being said, we're going to say goodbye for just a little bit and we'll see you after the escape room. Yep. So in the meantime, feel free to go check out my photos. Check them out, they're good. Well, we made it through the escape room. We're now preparing for formal night or dress your best night. Um, we knew that it wasn't gonna be exactly a really, really, really formal night. And looking at the demographic, um, I think we planned accordingly. So we're good. Bye. <laughs> Come on, hurry. Back. <gasps> this guy is like, we're doing this again. He's like, can I get a good blowout? Like, I just really need it to stay. <laughs> One thing I do appreciate about this ship is the artwork that they have in the stairwells. 
not every piece obviously, but there are some really incredible pieces, especially ones that have kind of been modern day takes on classics. So there's some, some of those older paintings they've taken, a modern photographer has gone in and, and kind of recreated the same type of look uh, of some of these still, uh, still paintings. And it's just, it's really unique and, and interesting. Um, so we've also really appreciated walking around in our floating art museum of modern art. It's a pretty ship. Yeah. This is just a... This is just pink. <laughs> We're not in prom. My girls dress up like they're going to prom. When you didn't make it to prom. <laughs> you, got, you gotta take it where you can get it, right? <laughs> oh. But well, everybody does look good kind of all dressed or up. it's just another excuse to wear that dress that you only wore one night. And paid a lot of money for it. Too much money. And that is why I will never buy a wedding dress. <laughs> I'm glad that you're not going to buy a wedding dress. <laughs> Back to the room. As Pink would say, I am here. I am here. <laughs> oh, you don't want to know what that is. 